Okay, Paula, so I uh, took a kind of thorough walk around and assessment of everything. We, uh, we have a, quite a few areas of concern. Um, many openings in the wall where critters or whatever have chewed through. Um, so that's very concerning. Obviously, we need to do a full tear off here. Uh, fascia can be replaced. Um, do a fascia replacement, a full replacement. We can't really overlay it because it's a 5 16 inch fascia right now. So that fascia would come off entirely. Um, we would replace all the drip edge with a one by two drip edge. And then, uh, and then basically the soffit. I mean, you could get away with painting it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can see on here, you know, the, the places where the soffit's kind of just bleeding through just from moisture and age. So we can paint the soffit with the understanding that it's not my recommendation. My recommendation would be to replace the soffit. If we paint the soffit, you're gonna get very limited life out of it because of its already deteriorated condition. So, um, with that being said, uh, that's my recommendation. We're gonna have a significant amount of uh, rot that's gonna have to be rebuilt on the chimney once all this comes off. There's going to be a lot of framing in there that's going to need to be rebuilt um, beneath the, the siding now before we can put the hardy on it. You know, with the tree trunks, they're actually growing inside the chimney cavity. Um, the capping is completely destroyed, so that's going to have to be fully replaced. Um, so that's, uh, you know, the sooner that this can be addressed, the better, because there is quite a few areas of concern with water infiltration into the existing wall cavity of the home. All this siding would be done around the windows here. Um, the areas, right if you can look right up on this, where the roof line right there, um, all that is, is in really bad shape. Um, luckily there's still some flashing behind there, so hopefully that's kept water out. But these areas like this where you see the flashing, but then above it, it's just open wall space. So critters, water, uh, no telling what's gotten up and under there. Um, the porch ceiling is a good example here. So see how that's kind of bled through there? You know, we, you can paint that, but again, you're not gonna get much lifespan out of just painting it. Um, just to be quite honest with you, um, it would not be my recommendation, although if that's what you choose to do, uh, just know that that comes with a disclaimer that it's not going to give you really good lifespan with that soffit or porch ceiling. Uh, the garage door frame is in pretty pretty rough condition, so that would all be repaired and then trimmed out and faced with hardy. Coming over to the left side here, again, you know where it's just uh, this masonite siding. It's like a paper towel. You put water on it, and it just wicks its way up the wall. You got these open cavities here um, so all this needs to come off we're gonna have to read you know reframe some areas where there's significant substantial rot this is all bubbled out here so you can see where that's just exposed you can see your, your jack studs of, of the wall which are the interior two by fours um, just uh, exposed which is not usually a good sign you can see these Two by fours right there, completely rotten inside this hole. So all that stuff has to be replaced before we put Hardy on. The trim's rotten in the corner up there. Uh, this is concerning up here above this window. There's no trim and no flashing, so water has been able to creep in there. And uh, there's going to be a pretty moderate degree of rot behind that wall space uh, above that window. And probably below it, because that's the way water is going to flow, is down into this area here. Uh, electrical box is pretty much falling off because the siding so we'll fix that we take that down side behind it reattach it and we can paint it all up and nice and looking looking pretty uh, come around to the back um, kind of same thing this porch ceiling is actually in decent shape um, all this siding would come off we'd retrim all the windows and doors in a hardy 1x4 so it'd be consistent material uh, all the way around See again here these are just the examples of just the rot and deterioration that's occurred you can see the insulation is falling down there um, same thing with this chimney up here that capping on that chimney is all gone uh, pretty much so we need to re uh, retrim that capping on the chimney 
and you can see here the fascia uh, right back in this corner right there it's uh, it's deteriorated completely so that would be addressed with the fascia overlay uh, excuse me fascia replacement not overlay um, same thing down here where it's just wicked up the wall so you can see this the siding just rotted all down along this this bottom edge here all these windows will be retrimmed in a hardy material one by four probably use a one by six in between there to cover the entire span and then up here is getting the same concern you know with it uh, just open wall there is never a good sign for critters for moisture for anything speaking of moisture it looks like I'm about to get rained on here so <laughs> um, so that's what we got kind of uh, going on here and um, you know it's a good thing you're looking at addressing this because honestly the longer these open holes sit here the more problematic and certainly the more cost is going to be associated with fixing this so that's pretty much what we're uh, what we're looking at would be full siding replacement on all the sidewalls all that has to be torn off uh, we'd resheathe the wall with a 7 16 inch plywood we'd install our Tyvek sheathing system then we do our trim and then our hardy plank over the top of that um, all the fascia would come off and we'd reinstall a fascia and a drip edge which is that one by two um, right on top of the fascia right here underneath the metal that's a one by two drip cap drip edge that would all have to be replaced and then again my recommendation on the soffit um, we can paint it and it will save you some money but it based on what I'm seeing here and my you know professional assessment of this is that that would be uh, not a very wise uh, plan of attack but again if we need to then we can do that and that can be addressed at a later date but that's uh that's kind of what we have going on here I mean it's nothing we haven't seen before um, but it is something that definitely needs to be addressed as soon as possible uh, so these problems and and the the rotten deterioration that's behind the siding does not get worse because that's when the project uh, cost and the money you're gonna have to spend to fix all that's gonna increase exponentially so that's what we have um, uh, all the hardy material would be put up everything would be caulked and sealed and then it would be painted after the fact um, so that's pretty much what we're looking at in terms of our scope of work and how we would accomplish that for you um, so I'll be following up with you I'll get everything put together for you hopefully this video will help serve um, just as a uh, a good visual for you in terms of what we need to do and obviously you know you're talking about a whole brand new exterior uh, it would look absolutely amazing when it's done and it would be something that would last you forever and ever with not having to repaint or uh, certainly address any kind of rot down the road but um, like I said whatever you do whatever course you know whatever direction whoever does the work for you these things need to be addressed immediately before it gets worse and more expensive so I'll follow up with you shortly with all the details and we can speak by phone hopefully and get this all figured out for you. Okay. Thanks, Paul. I hope, uh, hope you're having a great day and we look forward to the opportunity to, uh, to help you out here.